Let me share with you a, a true story out of my notebook of life. A number of years ago, got an incredible letter from a gentleman in Toronto with a substantial check in it. He said, my friend Steve Walker is following the wrong role model. He's working himself to death. His family is falling apart. Uh, he's, uh, his health is in danger. And he's modeling himself out of his boss. And he trusts you and respects you. If you will give us one hour, I will fly him to Dallas and give you this check. Wouldn't you love to have a friend like that? I sent the check back and I said, come on down. Steve and I had quite a little talk. And in our talk, I asked him why he had such a role model. Why did, what about this man that made him so completely important in his life? And he said, well, he's the most successful man I have ever known. And I said, well, Steve, what do you call success? Now, it took several minutes for him to go down the list. But the interesting thing is, though, they're not in the same order that I have put them, or they, we list them now. These are the eight things that he said he really considered to be successful. If a man was happy and healthy and at least reasonably prosperous and secure, if he had friends and peace of mind and good family relationship and the hope that the future is going to be better, he said, I'd consider that man as successful. Now I'm going to really encourage you to take some notes right here. And all I want you to do, and you'll be the only one that'll see it, somewhere right in my, as I go down the list, right whether you get a plus on that one or a minus on that one, you'll be the only one to see it but it might be an eye opener. You see, most people never dare to evaluate really where they are. And you got to know where you are before you can really determine your chances of getting what you really want out of life. And so uh, I said to uh, Steve, I said, I understand that your boss is very important to you. Uh, you consider him to be successful. When he finally got through with the identification, as I said earlier, these were the eight things that he had said, I think that's important for success, to measure success. I said, well, Steve, let me ask you now. As far as happy is concerned, uh, tell me, how happy is your boss? He said, oh, I don't think he's happy at all. I said, why not? He said, well, I've never heard him laugh, and he seldom smiles, and besides that, he's got ulcers. I said, well, do I give him a plus or a minus? He said, oh, you give him a minus. Please grade yourself as we go. This is so important for you. Then I said, that also tells me something about his health if he's got those ulcers. Do I give him a plus or a minus? He said, you give him a minus. I said, that also says something, uh, uh, Steve, about his peace of mind because you don't get ulcers because of what you eat, but what's eating you. I said, do we give him a plus or a minus? He said, we give him a minus. I said, Steve, I've asked you one question about what success is, what balance is, what's important to you. One question and your boss comes up with three minuses. I said, tell me how prosperous he is. He said, man, he's got money running out of his ears and he's getting more every day. I said, we give him a plus on that one, don't we? He said, we sure do. I said, how secure is your boss? He said, well, he's as secure as money can make you. And I said, well, Steve, let me ask you, did you read where two billionaire brothers here in Dallas went bankrupt? I said, how does your boss compare? <laughs> oh, man, he doesn't have that kind of money. Did you read where our ex-governor was worth $100 million at one point? He's now bankrupt. How does your boss compare? Oh, he doesn't have that kind of money. Now, understand Steve equated security with corporate position and bucks in the bank. So I said, well, Steve, let me ask you. Would we give your boss a plus or a minus or just a question mark on that? He said, let's be generous and give him a question mark. I said, how many friends does your boss have? I hope you're marking these for you. How many friends, real friends, do you, uh, does your boss have? He said, I don't think he's got any. Now, I'm not his friend. I just happen to admire the guy. Tell you the truth, he's somewhat of a jerk. And I said, okay, we give him a minus on that one. I said, tell me about his family. And he said, well, his wife's divorcing him. Well, that one's easy to answer. I said, how much hope does he have for the future? He said, well, before I started talking to you, I thought he had a lot. <laughs> but right now, I don't think he's got any. Why did that statement come forth? Because for the first time, he had evaluated it. 
That's what we need to do. Evaluate where we are. Are we investing our time properly, using our resources properly? What will the end results be? Well, then I said to uh, Steve, when that was over, we give him the minus there. I said, Steve, of the eight things that you consider marks of success, he gets one, two, three, four, five, six minuses. He gets one plus and one question mark. I asked Steve a question. I'm going to ask you the same question. Steve, would you swap places with your boss right now, knowing what you know? He looked at me kind of stunned. He slowly rose to his feet and said, no, I wouldn't. Would you? Ziggler. Ziggler. Inspiring true performance.